As California faces a budget deficit exceeding $54 billion, the governor today unveiled major cuts to help make up for the shortfall. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. The hardest hit areas include education and health care, and state employees could be in for a big pay cut. As News 8's Richard Allen reports, a number of reserve funds would have to be tapped and billions more in spending would have to be eliminated unless the federal government steps in. Well, that's right. This revised budget means seven and a half billion dollars less for K through 12 than the governor's initial budget back in January, eliminating certain proposals such as universal preschool. Nothing breaks my heart more than making budget cuts. And those cuts in Governor Gavin Newsom's revised budget are essential in plugging more than one quarter of the projected $54.3 billion shortfall, triggered by the drastic drop in revenue precipitated by the COVID-19 crisis. We're looking at a multi-year strategy. This strategy includes what promises to be major cuts to schools and students statewide. But I want you to know that we are not just going to roll over and accept $19 billion of cuts to public education. To help make up for some of this, the governor is proposing to earmark part of the federal CARES Act funding to K through 12 for initiatives like extending the school year. Increased funding for special education programs, though, will not be touched. Budgets for state colleges and universities, while receiving $1.4 billion in federal funds, would also be cut by 10 percent. Cuts would also be made to health care, including the governor's earlier proposal to have California sell its own prescription drugs. $700 million proposed earlier this year for homeless services would also disappear, along with a number of other initiatives that will now be delayed. The overwhelming majority of those proposals we are now pulling back. All state employees could also see a 10% pay cut or possibly furloughs. None of us in state government will be immune uh, from tightening our belts. The governor also made it clear that if the federal government approves the proposed $3 trillion HEROES Act, of which California would receive more than $20 billion, many of these budget revisions would not be necessary. These are cuts that can be triggered and eliminated with a stroke of a pen. And the governor also emphasized some parts of public safety would not be touched, including an additional $200 million for hundreds of additional firefighters and support staff gearing up for wildfire season. Back to you. Thank you, Richard.